Hello friends and welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I have three delicious, simple salads that you can make for your family. They're easy to whip up. We all wanna get more greens in our diet, more veggies. Some of these have fruit. They all have fruit in them. So they're just delicious. Check it out. So the first salad I have for you is a kale apple date salad. And it's just really, really tasty. If you don't particularly like kale, I challenge you to, to try it this way. It has a sweetness from the dates and the apple, and I'm even going to put some orange juice in the dressing. If you don't like your kale because it's tough or chewy, a trick is to put your dressing on about half an hour before you eat so that the dressing will soften your kale and you kind of massage it in. So here I have uh, what we'll be needing is kale, obviously, uh, onion, apple, some oranges to juice, and actually the original recipe calls for lemon juice, so you could use a lemon juice as well. Then I have some walnuts, or you could use almonds if you'd like, and I have the dates, and then the seasoning is just pepper and salt, and I have the olive oil there as well. So first you'll want to cut the ribs out of the kale. I've already started here. So you just <clears throat> take your knife and go along the rib to remove the leafy part of the kale. And then just chop it into small pieces like so. I've toasted my walnuts, which you can also do. To toast any nuts, just put them in a 350 degree oven for five minutes. It gives it a nice, a little crunch. You can do that with the almonds as well, if you use almonds or pecans. I'll just do the dressing. So today's salad will be a broccoli salad, which is a favorite in our family and for family gatherings. And the recipe had originally come from my aunt, um, but it's a very simple recipe, not hard to throw together. The only preparation is the bacon. You have to cook your bacon in advance. And then you'll need uh, broccoli and raisins, sunflower seeds, onion, it's actually red onion, but I don't have any red onion, so yellow. Uh, this, no, we don't need. I think my son threw it there. And for the dressing, 
it will be mayonnaise, vinegar, and honey, or you could use sugar. So I'll leave the amounts in the description box below and I'll put this together for you. I'll start by cooking up my bacon. All right, my bacon is cooked up. So I just have it draining here on some paper towel. And I washed my broccoli. I'll go ahead and cut up the florets. I saved the stock for another use to make soup or something. And so I'll cut up the florets and put them in the bowl and then add the other ingredients. Last year I grew broccoli in my garden for the first time and it was really good. So I hope to do it again this year. Some of them even grew funny and they, before making the, like the head, they bolted, but we would eat the uh, flowers and the, they were like little yellow flowers and tasted like broccoli. It was really good. Here's the finished salad, all ready to serve. It comes together really easily. You just uh, cook the bacon the day before and put everything together. Take it to your gatherings, your church potlucks. I'm sure everybody is going to enjoy it with the crispiness of the bacon, the sweetness of the raisins, and the seeds add a nice little crunch too. So let me know if you guys try this out. The third salad I have for you is a spinach orange salad. It's a delicious salad I've been making now for several years and it is uh, just nice and refreshing with the orange and uh, it has a nice uh, dressing as well and it's very simple. So here we go, I'll show you the ingredients you'll need. Here I have some walnuts that I toasted in the oven at 350 for five minutes. So walnuts, or you could also use pecans if you prefer. And then of course we will be needing some baby spinach, an onion, oranges, red pepper. And then for the dressing, the interesting part is it takes some orange juice concentrate, some olive oil, and also some balsamic vinegar, and just plain old salt and pepper. So we'll start by making our dressing. So I have a tablespoon measure here and basically I just put equal amounts of the orange juice concentrate, the olive oil and the vinegar. So for the size salad I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two tablespoons of each. Two 
tablespoons of vinegar. Then we'll put our salt and pepper as well. So really the salt is to taste. I have I'm trying to put a quarter teaspoon of pepper about and maybe a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'll let it sit so the orange juice concentrate can melt um, completely. And then I'll get on cutting up my veggies. So the spinach is super easy. Put your spinach in the bowl. These oranges are pretty small, so I have three of them. So it looks beautiful and colorful. And then we have the nuts to add. ready to serve. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed those salads and there's one that you want to go out and try this weekend to make for your family or for your next gathering. If you like kitchen videos, please like and subscribe so you don't miss what's happening in Mary's Kitchen. And until then, may God bless you with his love, joy, peace, and good health. Bye.